All right, this is a 10 minute warm up, and uh, this time around we're going to be working a good bit on the upper body, the chest, the upper back in particular, working through the shoulders. So, to get this started, go ahead and bring yourself into all fours. Let's attend to the feet a little bit here. So, bring your knees together, bring your feet together as well, and tuck all 10 toes underneath. And reach back and see if the pinky toe is going to comply as well on both feet. Depends on how, you, how your toe spread is. Walk your hands in, round your spine. Just keep your hands on the floor here to start and dig your toes down. And then just go back and forth. Pull your knees to your chest. And then come back down. And just keep moving back and forth like this. And just let that stretch the soles of your feet. You don't have to be too aggressive. I know especially if you do a lot of running, the soles of your feet might be tight. And that's pretty normal. Just work with it as best you can. Now, the next time you bring your knees down, just go ahead and keep them down. Come into a regular all fours. Release your feet, and you can just take them out a little bit. And we'll take this in a little bit of twisting right away. So go ahead and set this up with your hips stacked over your knees. And rather than having your shoulders over your wrists, walk your hands forward about one hand's length to stretch this out a little bit. We're going to go back and forth here, threading the needle, and we'll keep twisting before we hold the twist. So when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your right arm up high. Exhale, right arm underneath, bring the shoulder all the way down. Inhale, reach your right arm high. And exhale, twist, bring the shoulder to the floor. Inhale, your right arm up high. Exhale one more time, bring the shoulder down and keep it down. Now keep that right arm pressing into the floor. Look up toward the ceiling, maybe to stack the left shoulder by the right. But if you can go further, maybe reach the left arm up high and try to pull the left shoulder further back. Keep the right arm pressing down. And then left hand comes down if it's lifted. Come back up to that stretched out all fours and take it the other way. So inhale your left arm high. Exhale left arm underneath. Bring the shoulder to the floor. Inhale reach up through the left arm. And exhale twist. Bring the shoulder down. Inhale your left arm high. Exhale shoulder down one more time and stay down here. Now look up toward the ceiling. Stack the right shoulder above the left. And if you can go further, maybe reach up through that right arm and pull the shoulder back. And then right hand to the floor if it's lifted. Come back up to all fours. And once you're back in all fours, walk the hands in close. And we'll just take this into the wrist here to begin. So with your palms facing down, rotate your fingertips out to the side and then in toward your knees. You can always walk the hands in closer. But dig your fingertips down. Keep the fingers spread wide and really grip the floor hard. Press your spine up toward the ceiling. And then see about taking this a little bit further. Go ahead, tuck the toes of both feet. Hover your knees up off the floor. Just keep your belly pulled in. And then if you can take it further, just pulse, bouncing the knees up and down on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold. And then again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold. And one more time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And set your knees down. Come up onto the fingertips and down to your heels. Take a moment to shake your hands out. And then once the hands are ready, bring your legs out from underneath you and come to a seat. And when you're seated, go ahead and bring yourself all the way down to your back. Now once you're down, just pull your knees to your chest. Squeeze everything in for a moment. And then put the feet back down. We'll take this to a bridge variation here. So bring your feet to the floor and bring the feet and knees together. And bring the heels in close. Your low back's basically flat to start. Arms at your sides. Bend the elbows so the forearms are vertical. Make your hands into fists. And keep the fists clenched. Keep your elbows pressing down. Look up toward the ceiling. Now we're going to bring this up on one foot at a time. So keep the left foot where it is, but extend your right leg straight forward. Reach for the big toe. And then just push down, lift your butt just a little bit up off the floor. We'll go up and down from here. So press into your left foot, lift up and bring the thighs in line. And then sink back down. Press into your left foot, lift up again. And then come back down. Press into your left foot, lift for three. Come back down. Press into your left foot, lift for four. Come back down. Press into the foot, lift for five. Come back down. Press down, lift for six, and then lower back down. Press into the floor, lift for seven. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for eight, and come back down. 
Press into the flow, lift for nine. Come back down. Press into the flow, lift for 10, stay here. And step the right foot down next to left, hips are still high. Legs together, squeeze your glutes, lift up even higher. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just roll your spine down. Now once you're down, shift the weight to the right foot, extend your left leg straight forward, reach to the big toe. Push down, just hover your butt up off the floor and go up and down from here. With an inhale, press up high, bring the thighs in line and then sink back down. Press into the right foot, lift for two and then sink back down. Press into the floor, lift for three. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for four. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for five. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for six. And come back down. Press into the floor, lift for seven. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for eight. And come back down. Press into the floor, lift for nine. Come back down. Press into the floor, lift for ten. And set the left foot down next to the right. Hips are still lifted, legs together. Squeeze your glutes, lift the hips up higher. And take it further. Dig into your heels, lift your toes up off the floor. Try to pull the heels in toward your shoulders. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, roll this down. Once you're down, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees, squeeze in. And then go cross at the ankles, lift your head. And roll this forward to a seat. Now I want to take a version of a reverse tabletop here, and this is going to be a little bit unusual. You're going to be less mobile here. We'll do this with the forearms on the floor. So just have your feet in front of your hips with distance, and then bring the elbows all the way down. And now as you set this up, you can keep the palms on the floor. It may be easier to just make your hands into fists. Whatever you do with, with your hands, you want to be sure to press them down into the floor. And keep in mind, the tendency is going to let the, let the weight just go to your elbows. Now slide your elbows back behind your shoulders. You should already feel a little bit of a chest stretch to begin. Keep your hands pressing down. Now as you press into your feet, just hover your butt up off the floor again and keep your chin pulled into your chest. We'll take it back and forth from here. So press your hips up high, squeeze your glutes. Sink back down. Lift up the two best you can. And then come back down. Press your hips up for three. Come back down. Lift up again for four. And then come back down. Lift this up five. Bring it down. Press up again for six. And then come back down. Lift up for seven. Bring it back down. Lift up for eight. And come back down. Press up the nine. And then bring it down. Lift up the 10. Stay here. Now keep looking forward. Keep your glutes squeezing. Squeeze the legs toward each other. And lift your heels. Try to pull them in toward your hands. Keep your hands pressing down. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release. Come down. Now, go ahead. Bring yourself up onto your hands. And then just cross at the ankles. Come forward to all fours again. And once you're in all fours, just loosen up and move around a little bit. All right, still working this into the shoulders and in the upper back, we're going to take this into a forearm plank. So bring both forearms down to the floor. Now you can set it up with the forearms parallel, palms down, or bring the palms together, whatever suits you best. But see your elbows stay shoulder width. Now step your feet back, legs together, bring your body into line. And just keep your belly pulled in, hands pressing down, lift your spine up toward the ceiling. Now if you want this to be more of a challenge, you can walk the feet further back so the shoulders are behind the elbows, but the elbows are still shoulder width. Keep your hands pushing down. Now, maybe just stay here, but if you're able to move, then just slowly lower your hips toward the floor. Lift up, bring your body in line. Sink your hips down just a few inches for two. Pull back up. Bring your hips down a third time. Lift back up. Sink down a fourth time. And then lift your hips. Let the hips sink down a fifth time. Lift back up and just keep yourself in line, still in that forearm plank. Now, if you walk this back, just step your feet forward, see that the shoulders are over your elbows, hands still pressing down, and move one leg at a time. Bring your right knee forward toward the right shoulder, close as you can go. And then step back, left knee toward your left shoulder, and step back, right knee for two. Step it back again, left knee for two, and step back, right knee for three. Step it back, bring the left knee forward, and step back, right knee for four. Step it back, bring the left knee forward. And step back, right knee for five. Step it back, bring your left knee forward. And step back, bring your knees down. 
and come up to all fours. From all fours, take a moment here, move around. All right, and then from all fours, let's play with a little bit of a lopsided shape. So I want you to come down onto the right forearm, but stay in your left hand. Right elbow to the side, right hand moves into center, so that forearm's diagonal. Slide your left hand back, stack the elbow directly over the wrist and keep the elbow pulled in. And just keep your chest facing down, put the weight to the right knee, hover the left, and then bring your left knee out to the side. And just go back and forth, inhale the left leg straight back. Exhale, knee to left shoulder, bring it in close. Inhale the left leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder again. Inhale the left leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale the left leg back. Now exhale, knee to shoulder one more time. Set the left leg down on your left arm and press your chest toward the floor. If you want to go further, tuck the toes to the right foot. Just hover the right knee here for a moment. And then release. Go ahead, bring both knees down. Come up to all fours. And just taking this a little bit into the hips. We'll take this on the other side. Bring that left forearm down to the floor. Left elbow to the side. Left hand moves into center. Slide the right hand back. Keep the elbow over the wrist and keep that elbow pulled in. Now from here, put the weight to your left knee. Hover the right. And then right knee out to the side. Keep it lifted. Keep your toes pointed right. And with an inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Bring it in close. Inhale, the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale, the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder again. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder one more time. Now push the right leg down into your right arm. Keep your chest facing down. And maybe tuck the toes to the left foot and lift your left knee. And then release. Go ahead, bring both knees down. Come back up to all fours. And we'll take that lopsided set up on the other side again. So bring the right forearm back down. Right elbow to the side, right hand moves to center. Slide your left hand back and keep the elbow above the wrist. Keep that elbow pulled in. Now look down, and this time tuck the toes of both feet. Take a lopsided dolphin. So bring your hips up as high as you can. And if you can go further, walk the feet forward so the hips go even higher. You're trying to get your torso toward vertical. Now just keep looking down. Keep your left elbow pulled in. Keep your right hand pressing into the floor. You're pushing from the right shoulder. Most of the weight's on the right arm. Now, if you want to just stay here, this is fine. But if you can go further, inhale your left leg high. Keep it lifted. Bend your left knee. Scorpion the pose. Hang the left foot right and try to stack your hips. Now, with an inhale, straighten your left leg. Reach up. Exhale, knee to left arm. Bring it down. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left arm. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to arm. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left arm. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to arm one more time. Now keep the knee on your arm and pull that left heel in. Now if you can take it further, keep your hips high. Use your inner thighs. Squeeze the right leg into the left till your legs touch. And then release. Bring both feet down, bring your knees down. And come up to all fours. And it may not look like much, but that's a surprisingly stressful position to be in. Work it as best you can. Let's take the other side. Bring your left form down to the floor. Left elbow to the side, left hand moves into center, that forms diagonal. Slide your right hand back, stack the elbow above the wrist and keep it pulled in. Now tuck the toes of both feet, lift your knees and bring the hips up. If you can take it further, walk the feet and hips as high as you can go. Again, you're trying to get the torso to a vertical. Keep the right elbow pulled in. Left hand presses down. Now with an inhale, raise your right leg up as high as you can. Bend the right knee, hang the right foot left, scorp in the pose and stay here. With an inhale, straighten that right leg, reach up. Exhale, knee to right arm, bring it down. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to arm. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to arm again. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm and keep it there. Now pull the right heel in close. Keep the elbow pulled in. Using the thigh, squeeze the left leg to the right so the legs touch. And then go release it. Both feet down, bring your knees down. Come back up to all fours. And that is the 10 minute warm up for this week. And you should feel that in probably unusual parts of your shoulders and your upper back. Thank you very much.